Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at new Matubo Tinot Check Glass Seed Beads. These are cylinder seed beads, so it's a great option that's a little bit bigger than 11 Aught Miyuki Delicas and 11 Aught Toho Treasures. So let's take a look, we're going to do some stitching with them and kind of compare the size with the other 11 Aught Delicas. So these are the new um, Atubo 10 knot seed beads available at um, artbeads.com. Uh, really great cylinder seed beads. I love the colors that we have. So pretty. Nice pink. And then we've got this wonderful sage green. So these are available at artbeads.com. Uh, really beautiful blue color there. We've got a white color. I love this white. It's kind of got this like nice luster. I think that'd be perfect for a holiday design, summer designs, everything in between. Um, really great color options on these new Matubo Tenot seed beads. Beautiful. Yay! Angela, good to hear. Yeah, really pretty colors. I really like this lavender one. It's got, um, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, like a variegated lavender, like there's hints of more cool lavender and then hints of more warm lavender. It's really pretty, almost like a marbled effect, I guess you could say. Got this wonderful pink color. This red is so, so nice. It's like a, a deep red. Again, it's got that kind of marbled effect like that lavender color had. Hello, Laura from South Carolina. Good to see you. And then this pink has like hints of purple in it, which I love. So pretty. Beautiful. This one is a nice kind of satiny pink. Lovely. A really pretty, uh, this is like a, a blush pink. So, so pretty. Again, these are all available at artbeads.com. I've got um, links in the video description. I love this kind of coppery orange. That's perfect for fall. Fall is coming. Um, so great time to start planning out your fall designs. And then this yellow. Isn't that a wonderful bright summery yellow? Gorgeous. We've got all kinds of wonderful colors and they are available in tubes like this one. Um, so they are 10 aught cylinder seed beads and there's 8.9 grams approximately in each tube. So cute. All right, so I've got some examples for how you can use cylinder tinot seed beads as well. Um, let's first compare to the 11 aught Delicas, Miyuki Delicas, and the 11 aught um, Treasures. So let's see, we've got a needle here. And we'll get some of these. So these are Delicas here. So the 10 aughts are going to be a little bit bigger than the 11 aughts, and you will see here in a second what I mean. Um, yeah, so they're just a little bit bigger than the 11 aught Delicas here. So these are the 10 aught uh, check seed beads, and then these are the 11 aught Delicas. So they're just a little bit bigger. So they're going to make a, a little bit of a bigger presence in your um, seed bead designs, which is nice. So if you're someone who is hesitant to stitch with 11 knot Delicas because you think they might be too small for you, it might be good to try it out first with these 10 knot seed beads uh, because they're a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see. So that'll make them a little bit easier to work with. So this is a nice stepping stone. If you're if you're a little nervous to dip your toes into 11 knot, start with the 10 knots because they're a little bit bigger. Um, so they should be a little bit easier to work with. Um, really cute. Um, so let's compare with the Toho Treasures, the 11 knot Treasures as well. So I will put all three on my needle here. So we've got Treasures, we've got Delicas. Let's get those 10 knot Matubo seed beads, check glass seed beads. So uh, Treasures and Delicas are very similar in size, so you can just see that the Ten Aughts are just a little bit bigger. So really nice option 
for bead weaving, stringing, all kinds of great stuff. You can do all kinds of great things with these new 10 aught seed beads. Um, our graphic de designer did a cute little sample of daisy chain here with some of the 10 aught seed bead options and cute little summery colors. So that's an option you can do. Square stitch is a great option. Um, love that. Isn't that pretty? So nice. So square stitch is a great, a great option for um, these 10 aught seed beads. Peyote stitch is another great option. So pretty. And then we've got um, brick stitch, of course, my favorite technique is another good option for using these 10 aught seed beads. Love those. So those are really cute. Um, so just keep in mind that because the 10 aught seed beads are a little bit bigger than the 11 aughts, um, your finished piece is going to be just a little bit bigger, um, which is not a problem for something like this, but keep that in mind for something like a peyote stitch bracelet where the width might be affected. Um, it would, it might also be a good option for carrier beads. Um, I'm going to try that out um, and see how that works with carrier beads. Um, I've got a little carrier bead here. Carrier beads are Czech glass seed beads. Um, so I'm going to see how many will fit over a carrier bead um, on this peyote stitch band here. So cute. Okay, let's get started stitching. It All right, let's see. I need some thread, some beading thread. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with some brick stitch. Let's see how this brick stitches up. So we've got some thread. I'm using KO thread here. I'm going to do just a simple little um, flower brick stitch pattern. I've got this cute little pattern here. Um, I'm just going to make that with brick stitch and um, we'll see how it works up. It'll be kind of fun. Nice relaxing stitching day. Okay, get a, an arm's length of thread here. And add my needle to my thread. I might have to do that off camera because it's always easier up close to the eyes, but I think I got it. Woohoo! There we go. All right, so I'm just doing this simple pattern. So I'm gonna make this cute little flower, gosh, cute little flower, um, cute little flower pattern in the center with a nice little frame. So I'm gonna start my brick stitch here at the bottom, um, and I'm going to do three across for that first row. So you start your brick stitch with the ladder stitch. I need to decide on some colors here. So I think I'll make the uh, center flower um, white. We'll make the center of the flower yellow, like a daisy. I really love this teal color, so I think I'm gonna add that to the outside edge along with maybe, maybe this like golden pink color. I think that'll be pretty. So let me get these other colors out of the way and we'll see how those all look together. There we go. Yeah, those are pretty together and just that little bit of yellow um, in the center. Okay, so let's get that down. So we will do, all right, so we need to start the brick stitch with two seed beads and we've got our two 10 knots. Good morning, Anne, good to see you. So I've got two beads here to start my brick stitch, which we're starting with a ladder stitch. So you just come back down through that first bead you added. And then I'm gonna come back up through my teal bead because that's the bead I want to be in the center to add my next bead. Hello, Landa, good to see you. Yes, love seeing your comments. Let me know that you're here, that you're watching. Um, love to see you. And it okay, so we're starting our next row. We're gonna start our next row of brick stitch on an increase. 
um, and we need that pink frame color and a white. You always start um, your rows of brick stitch with two beads and because it's on an increase um, I'm gonna bring my needle through that first thread bridge here. Okay I've got my two seed beads added there. I'm gonna need another white one. So you start the row with two and then you add bead by bead after those initial two of the row. And um, this is gonna be a pretty small little brick stitch sample here. Um, so I'm just going through that next thread bridge. And then come back up through the bead. Here we go. So our second row is coming along. We're also ending this row on the increase. So I'm going to pick up that pink frame color. And because I'm ending on an increase, I have to come back through that same thread bridge that I added that last white bead. So I'm going under that white bead, back through that same thread bridge and pulling tight to end my row on the increase. And then you bring your needle back up through the bead you just added. So I've got that row all ready. And these are really great to stitch with. The size makes them uh, really nice to work with. So I'm starting my next row. I'm gonna pick up that teal color that I've got for the frame and then a white bead for the flower. So this row is also starting on an increase just like the last row. So we're gonna come through that first thread bridge And pull and come back up through that second bead added. And I'm ready for my center color for my flower. So I'm picking up one bead now that I've got the row going. Coming through that next thread bridge over. up a white bead for the next little daisy petal coming back up through that white bead so yeah these are feeling really nice to stitch with they seem very consistent again I like the size I like that it's a step up from 11 knot just a little bit bigger makes it a little easier to work with um, so these are really nice I'm really liking these so far And we're ending on the increase, so we're going back through that same thread bridge and then coming up through the bead we just added. So now we're going to start to decrease the stitch um, since we're kind of making a mirror image. This is my center row. So to start it on a decrease, you still start with two seed beads. So I'm going to pick up a pink seed bead, pick up a white seed bead. And because we're um, starting this row on a decrease, you're going to go through the second thread bridge over and that's going to stagger the row to the inside of the last row rather than to the outside of the last row. And then come back up through the second bead So cute. Sometimes with this um, first row to get it really in line. I like to go through, loop through the beads a second time just to make sure that they uh, stand next to each other a little nicer. Yeah, it seems like the, um, the size consistency is really good. I've got these colors 
poured out here. Um, D is asking about if I'll have to pull any. They actually look super consistent. I'm not really seeing right off the bat any that I would cull right away, which is nice. So I think size consistency is going to be good. Um, they look pretty uniform. So that is always good. Great question, D. Adding another white, going through the next thread bridge over. Oops, my thread came off my needle. But that's okay. We finished this row pretty nicely. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so my plan for this, I want to make like several of these little daisies and attach them. It's like a weird modified knot daisy chain, but I want to attach them in a little chain and make little dangle earrings with them. I think that would be so cute. All right, so we've got that row done, and then we just have to add our last row. Um, and then we're going to start it with the pink and then the teal. And then the pink. Well, actually, no, we just start with two. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Starting on the decrease, so we're going second thread bridge over. Coming back up through that seed bead. And then I'm going to go back through my seed beads just to line them all up. And then adding my last seed bead. So ending the row on a decrease is super easy. You just go through that last thread bridge and your row is ended on a decrease. Super cute. How cute is that? Oh, I love this. So my plan for this, I'm going to stitch a few of these, maybe three or four, and then add an ear wire up top, jumping them together. How cute would that be for earrings? That would be so sweet, right? Oh, I'm going to do that. So that's my plan for these. Um, just my initial thoughts on stitching with these for brick stitch. They're really great for brick stitch. Super easy to stitch with. The size is really nice, especially if you're um, used to 11 knots. They're a nice little um, easier, a little bit easier than 11 knots because they're a little bit bigger. They look super cute. I think they're really sweet. Um, let's stitch, let's stitch the same kind of octagon with the 11 knots and compare sizes here. I think that will be helpful. So I'm just going to use this, uh, thread that I have here. I'll leave a tail that I can weave back in here. So let's just stitch a super quick, uh, hexagon with the Delicas so we can compare, um, the finished size so you can kind of see how different <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kimberly. I think that turned out super adorable as well. Um, I think that's going to be really fun earrings. A little, like, variation. I know Daisy Chain is, like, super trendy right now, super hot. Uh, this is, a, like, a step up from the Daisy Chain. It is a Daisy Chain, technically. I'm going to link them together with jump rings, but uh, not, which, <laughs> not the traditional Daisy Chain beading method. All right, so we'll start off with these... Uh, delicas. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's a nice little uh, difference with the tenots. They're just a little bit bigger, so they're a little bit easier to work with. So that's why I'm thinking if you're a little hesitant to start working with 11 knots, start with the tenots. You know, if if um, eight dot is where you live and you want to kind of go smaller, start with the tenots. I think they're really approachable. They're easy to stitch with. Go for it. All right, we're going to do the next row. And then we'll, we'll do um, some peyote stitch with these bad boys too and see how that works. I 
again, these are these are new at artbeats.com. We've got lots of pretty colors in these 10 aught Matubo seed beads. Um, really pretty colors. I'm loving the colors that I have here. And there are more on the website. So head to artbeats.com and shop those new Matubo 10 aught seed beads. So already you can kind of see that um, the size does affect the finished piece. Let's keep going and then we'll hold them together. I'll layer one on top of the other so we can see uh, just how much bigger that finished piece is um, in 10 knots versus 11 knot Miyuki Delicas. it's going to make quite the difference. Ooh, adjustable rings. Yeah, that'd be cute. Oh, my thread got super tangly here. There we go. All right, and then we're going to start decreasing this stitch to complete this little hexagon shape. So this is the same amount of beads, same shape as the little daisy um, brick stitch that I did. Um, but with 11 aught Miyuki Delicas. So we're going to compare the size. Oh, uh, Cray wants to learn more about adjustable rings and bracelets. Oh, that's a good topic for a future video. I'll put that in my list of video suggestions. It's a really good topic. Um, it looks like Beverly has some suggestions as well. Thank you, Beverly. That's a really good um, topic, especially like if you're making something as a gift and you don't know their ring or bracelet size, there are options for making it adjustable. So, oh, that's a good topic. I'll have to um, work on a video for that. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you definitely should. There's even more videos there. Um, lots of great resources, design resources, jewelry inspiration, nice little discussions. All kinds of things over there. Almost done with this little brick stitch sample in the 11 knots so we can see what it looks like with the 10 knots. Hmm. I've got a knot in my thread that's... there we go. All right, so let's take a look just side by side really quick. Yeah, so it's just um, a bit bigger. A bit bigger with the ten knots. It really does affect the size. So really keep that in mind that the ten knots are a bit bigger. It's going to affect the size. I quite like the look of the ten knots in a small sample like this. I think it makes it pop a little more. Um, really cool. Yeah, so for sure, if you're making like little daisies or samples like that, I would go for something like this because it I think it just stands out a little more because they're just a little bit bigger yeah i love honeycomb and hexagon shapes too really fun yeah and they are super in style right now so just a little bit bigger as you can see um really cute so cute yeah 
Nice. Okay. So that's a good size comparison of the 10 aughts and the 11 aughts. So you can see they just up the size a little bit. Um, so let's kind of see how they do with peyote stitch. I've got this little carrier bead. I want to see um, how many beads you need to do a peyote stitch um, strip for a carrier bead. So let's um, use this same thread. Just gonna cut that. So for the carrier beads, yeah, the comparison is nice. It's good to see like how different the sizes are in finished pieces um, and side by side, just um, not in a piece. So you can get kind of a full picture. Um, so I'm glad that's helpful to you. So I'm just gonna peyote stitch with one color to keep it easy. So you want um, these for the, for the 11 aughts, our peyote stitch band is one, two, three, four, five, six beads wide. I'm thinking it's gonna be four with these 10 aughts. So you're just a couple beads less with the 10 aughts. Yeah, four is gonna cover it, I think. Mm -hmm. You could maybe do five, but I think that would be too wide. Then you'd have to do um, odd count peyote, which is a little bit different from even count. I like even count peyote for something like this. Yeah, I'm thinking four. So let's do a four, uh, four beads wide even count peyote stitch and see what that looks like. So I've got uh, my beads. These are going to be the first two rows of my peyote stitch. I haven't done even count in a while. I usually do odd count, funnily enough. And we're going to skip over that first bead and go through the next. And those um, two beads are going to kind of stack on top of each other. We're going to skip over the next bead and go through the next one after that. And those two beads will kind of stack on each other. I have to say I like stitching with these 10 knots. Feels good. Um, and then we'll turn around and start the next row. Add a bead, skip over that single bead and go through the next bead. So even count peyote, especially when you're only four beads wide, works up pretty fast, especially with these 10 knots. So that's another thing, because these beads are a little bit bigger, um, the stitch is gonna work up faster just because you're gonna be getting more length with each bead because they're a little bit bigger. So it might make your projects go a little bit faster, which is nice too. that I've already got several rows in just a couple minutes so that's nice maybe we can do the whole strip for this little carrier bead here and we have all kinds of tutorials oh yeah four beads wide is perfect for the carrier bead look at that and it works up really fast I'm gonna have a whole strip here to go around the entire carrier bead in no time, I think. Really fun, that's great. So let's keep going. Yeah, look at that, it's coming together super quick. So we've already got a lot done there. So basically this is like a peyote stitch ring is what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep going and then um, zip your ends together to make a little band for your carrier bead. So yeah, 10 knot, 10 knot seed beads, uh, the 10 knot Matubo check seed beads, four beads wide for the small carrier bead. What color am I using? Uh, let me see if I can find it in my pile. We, I do have a link to all of our new Matubos in the video description. 
Uh, this looks like it is Luster Violet Chalk is the, is the color here. Um, really pretty. So Luster Violet Chalk or Violet Chalk Luster, however you want to call it. It's gorgeous. I love the kind of golden tinge it has. Really nice color. Beautiful. So loving that. Um, really nice. So that is the color I'm using here for my little peyote stitch band. I think it looks really nice with that blue carrier bead. Yeah, so it works up. Peyote stitch works up really fast with these 10 knot seed beads, as does brick stitch. Super nice. It was fun to do both techniques to kind of see how it feels. I'm loving stitching with these. They're really wonderful. Um, easy, easy to stitch with. The size is really nice feels um, easier to manipulate, especially when you first get going with those stitches. Because the beads are so small, sometimes it can be hard to just hold them together in your hands. But with these 10 knots, it's really nice. Um, makes it a little bit easier. So yeah, I'm really loving these new 10 knot seed beads. Um, loving that there's now kind of an in-between size from the 8 aught and 11 aught. You can totally try 10 aughts if you uh, want to gradually work your way up to 11 aught and then possibly a 15 aught. We have even smaller, um, all kinds of different sizes. So this is just another great size option for seed beaters. And we have lots of great colors available now at artbeats.com. Right on the homepage, if you go to artbeats.com and go to our new and noteworthy section, there's a nice little section for these new guys, really pretty. So that's wonderful, oh my gosh, so cute. So um, all I have to do is keep going there and then stitch up the ends around the carrier bead and you've got a nice little band that works up really quickly. Um, super fun. So you could totally do something like this. Um, this one would be a little trickier to convert because um, the pattern works with how many beads there are uh, across with Delica. So you'd have to come up with something different if you're using the 10 knots. But you could make like a little stripey pattern, a little dot pattern, and it would work up super quickly with those 10 knots. So really great. I'm loving those. Super fun. Um, great. So those are our new 10 knot Matubo seed beads. Again, if you want to create your own um, patterns with these colors and beads, we do have great seed bead graph paper. That's what I did to just kind of quickly draw out that little daisy sample that I made. Where'd that go? <laughs> I'm losing my things here. It's somewhere on my tray. I just don't know where. There it is. It's hiding under that peyote stitch bracelet. So I just quickly drew that up on our, oh my goodness, where's my camera? On our graph paper here. And you can see I have room to draw even more. I started off with here and thought maybe that would be too big. So we do have this graph paper available for different stitches. I have brick stitch here. You can do peyote stitch, square stitch. We have loom paper, all the all the graph papers. You can come up with your own patterns to create new designs with these 10 aught Matubo seed beads. And that graph paper is free and available to you at artbeads.com. Super fun. Yeah, herringbone would be fun with those 10 knots as well. They are super easy to work with. I'm loving them. And like I said, so many pretty colors. Loving all of the color options. I love that orange for fall. Perfect. Um, this teal is really making me happy as well too. Love teal. So great options. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that that video was helpful and inspiring to you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and what you'd like to see next. We always love your suggestions. We love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to leave a like and a comment and make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications so you know when we have a new video. Um, it's always great to be in the loop, right? So thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.